This is a recording of an article on Wikipedia and was recorded by user Popular Outcast. The material recorded is current as of the April 13, 2009 revision of the article. ACID 2 from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. ACID 2 is a test page published and promoted by the Web Standards Project to expose web page rendering flaws in web browsers and other applications that render HTML. It was developed in the spirit of ACID 1, a relatively narrow test of compliance with the Cascading Style Sheets 1.0 or CSS1 standard and was released on April 13, 2005. Like ACID 1, an application passes the test if the way it displays the test page matches a reference image. ACID 2 tests aspects of HTML markup, CSS 2.1 styling, PNG images, and data URIs. The ACID 2 test page will be displayed correctly in any application that follows the World Wide Web Consortium and Internet Engineering Task Force specifications for these technologies. These specifications are known as web standards because they describe how technologies used on the web are expected to function. While at the time of ACID 2's release no web browser passed the test, ACID 2 was designed with Microsoft Internet Explorer particularly in mind. The creators of ACID 2 were dismayed that Internet Explorer did not follow web standards, and because of this, Internet Explorer was prone to display web pages differently from other browsers. When such a discrepancy between browsers is encountered, web developers spend time tweaking their web pages in order to make the pages be displayed correctly in different browsers. ACID 2 represented a challenge to Microsoft to bring Internet Explorer in line with web standards, making it easier to design web pages that work as intended in any web browser. On October 31, 2005, Safari 2.0.2 became the first browser to pass ACID 2. Opera, Conqueror, Firefox, and others followed. With the release of Internet Explorer 8 on March 19, 2009, the latest versions of all major web browsers now pass the test. The following is a listing of the contents of this article. Section 1. History. Section 2. Microsoft's Response. Section 3. Overview of Standards Tested. Section 4. Passing Conditions. Section 5. Compliant Applications. Section 6. Non-Compliant Applications. Section 7. Timeline of Passing Applications. Section 8. See Also. Section 9. References. Section 10, External Links. Section 1, History. ACID 2 was first proposed by Hao Kong William Lee, Chief Technical Officer of Opera Software and creator of the widely used Cascading Style Sheets web standard. In a March 16, 2005 article on CNET, Lee expressed dismay that Microsoft Internet Explorer did not properly support web standards and hence was not completely interoperable with other browsers. He announced that ACID 2 would be a challenge to Microsoft to design Internet Explorer 7, then in development, to achieve a greater degree of standards compliance than previous versions of Internet Explorer. The original ACID 1 test had forced browser makers to fix their applications or face embarrassment. Lee hoped that ACID 2 would do the same. Lee and a colleague, Ian Hickson, had created the first draft of the test in February 2005. Ian Hickson coded the final test in collaboration with the Web Standards Project and the larger web community. It was officially released on April 13, 2005, and at that time every web browser failed it spectacularly. On April 23, 2005, ACID 2 was updated to fix a bug that made the mouth appear too close to the nose. After several complaints, the test was again updated in January 2006 to remove a test for unpopular SGML-style comments that were never widely implemented. 
In browsers that do not implement SGML style comments, the original test displayed the word error on the bottom part of the face. In March 2008, Ian Hickson released ACID 3 as a follow up to ACID 2. While ACID 2 primarily tests CSS, ACID 3 focuses more on JavaScript and other Web 2.0 technologies. This section of the article contains an image with the caption, The Smiley Face of the First Version of ACID 2. Note that due to problems in this version of the test, the mouth is too close to the nose and the text error appears even in a standards compliant browser. Section 2 Microsoft's Response in July 2005, Chris Wilson, the Internet Explorer platform architect, stated that passing ACID 2 was not a priority for Internet Explorer 7, describing the test as a wish list of features rather than a true test of standards compliance. In December 2007, Microsoft announced that all the changes required to pass ACID 2 would be made available in Internet Explorer 8, but that the changes would not be turned on by default, meaning that IE 8 would not actually pass the test. The concern was that switching to a new behavior would cause too many problems in web pages expecting Internet Explorer's old, non-compliant behavior. Then in March 2008, Microsoft released IE8 Beta 1 and turned on the changes by default after all. James Pratt, product manager for IE8, explained that this decision was made so that developers can spend more time building features and cool stuff and less time just trying to tweak their sites across different browsers. Unfortunately, another unresolved standards compliance issue caused IE8 Beta 1 to fail if not all elements of the test were hosted from the same server. In August 2008, Microsoft released IE8 Beta 2, which resolved the issue. As of that beta, however, standards mode is not turned on by default for pages loaded in the intranet zone. This zone is active for pages loaded via UNC PaaS named addresses without dots like HTTP colon slash slash my site slash and sites that bypass the proxy settings. As such, IE8 will not pass the ACID2 test if loaded in these cases. Section 3 Overview of Standards Tested ACID2 tests a variety of web standards published by the World Wide Web Consortium and the Internet Engineering Task Force. With the exception of CSS 2.1, all web standards tested were codified before the year 2000. CSS 2.1 was a candidate recommendation at the time of ACID 2's release and is still a candidate recommendation as of March 2009. Specifically, ACID 2 tests 1. Alpha transparency in PNG format images. The eyes of the smiley face use alpha transparency, which is part of the 1996 Portable Network Graphics Specification. The alpha transparency provides an elegant way to have the eyebrows smoothly blend into the face. This was a significant issue because Internet Explorer 6, the most widely used web browser at the time ACID 2 was released, did not support alpha transparency. This deficiency was rectified in Internet Explorer 7, bringing Internet Explorer in line with other web browsers in this regard. 2. The Object Element The eyes also test support of the HTML object element. The object element has been a part of HTML since HTML4 was released in 1998, yet by 2005 it still was not completely supported in all web browsers. The creators of ACID2 considered object element support important because it allows for content fallback. If an object fails to load, then the browser can display alternative, generally simpler, more reliable content in its place. 3. Data URIs The actual images that form the eyes are encoded as data URIs. Data URIs allow embedding multimedia directly into web pages, rather than being stored as a separate file. 
Acid to test the most common case, where binary image is base64 encoded into text and then that encoded text is included in a data URI in the web page. Interestingly, although the IETF published the data URI specification in 1998, they never formally adopted it as a standard. Nonetheless, the HTML 4.01 specification references the data URI scheme, and data URI support has now been implemented in most web browsers. 4. Absolute, Relative, and Fixed CSS Positioning Absolute positioning means that the web developer specifies the exact X and Y coordinates where an element is to be placed into the page. Relative positioning means that the web developer specifies an X and a Y offset from the usual position of the element. Fixed positioning means that the element is placed relative to the browser window and scrolls with the window rather than with the rest of the page. 5. The CSS Box Model This feature allows specifying dimensions, padding, borders and margins and was the focus of the original ACID-1 test. ACID-2 not only retests margin support but also tests minimum and maximum heights and widths, features new to CSS 2.0. 6. CSS Table Formatting This part of CSS allows applying table formatting without traditional HTML table markup. 7. CSS Generated Content Using CSS-generated content, web developers can add decorations and annotations to specified elements without having to add the content to each one individually. 8. CSS Parsing A number of illegal CSS statements are present in ACID 2 to test error handling. Standards compliant browsers are expected to handle these errors as the CSS specification directs. This helps ensure cross-browser compatibility by making all browsers treat CSS with the same level of strictness, so that what works in one browser should not cause errors in another. 9. Paint Order ACID2 requires that the browser have standard paint order. That is, overlapping elements should be placed or painted on top of each other in the correct order. 10. Hovering effects. When the user moves their mouse over the smiley face's nose, it turns blue. This is called a hovering effect, and while it has traditionally been used for hyperlinks, it should work on a wide variety of HTML elements. Because ACID2 is not a comprehensive test, it does not guarantee total conformance to any particular standard. A variant of the ACID2 test that does not test for data URI support is also available from the Web Standards Project. Section 4 Passing Conditions A passing score is only considered valid if the browser's default settings were used. Actions such as changing font sizes, zoom level, and applying user style sheets can break the display of the test. This is expected and is not relevant to a browser's compliance. The following browser settings and user actions invalidate the test. Scrolling, resizing the browser window, zooming in or out, disabling images, using Opera's fit to width or small screen rendering modes, applying custom fonts, colors, styles, etc., user JavaScript or GreaseMonkey scripts, Enabling Internet Explorer's Compatibility View. Section 5. Compliant Applications If rendered correctly, ACID2 will appear as a smiley face below the text Hello World in the user's browser, with the nose turning blue when the mouse cursor hovers over it. At the time of the test release, every browser failed it, but now a number of applications pass the test. This section contains an image with the caption, ACID2 as rendered by compliant applications. Section 5.1, Officially Released. This section of the article contains an outline which shows officially released compliant applications. A. WebKit and KHTML-based browsers such as 
One, Safari, the web browser included in Mac OS X and available for Windows. Two, Google Chrome, a web browser for Windows and Mac OS X, not fully a small visual artifact appears. Three, Conqueror, a web browser for KDE. Four, OmniWeb, a web browser for Mac OS X. Five, Shira, a web browser for Mac OS X. Six, iCab, a web browser for Mac OS X. B, Prince, an XML to PDF converter for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. C, Presto based browsers such as 1. Opera, a web browser for Windows, Mac OS X, Linux, and BSD. 2. The Internet Channel, a version of the Opera browser for the Nintendo Wii game console. D. Gecko based browsers such as 1. Mozilla Firefox, a web browser for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. 2. Flock, a web browser for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. 3. Songbird, a media player and web browser for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. E. Windows Internet Explorer, the web browser that comes with Windows. This section of the article contains an image with the caption, Use of ACID2 conformant web browsers has consistently risen since October 2005. Section 5.2 In Development This section of the article contains an outline which shows in-development applications that expect to pass the ACID2 test. A. TK HTML HTML Viewer 3, a web browser for Windows and Linux. B. WebKit and KHTML based browsers such as 1. Aurora 2. Epiphany C. Gecko based applications such as 1. Camino 2.0, a web browser for Mac OS X 2. Fennec, a web browser for mobile devices 3. Instant Bird 0.1.3, an instant messenger for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. 4. Kazahakasi 0.5.4 for Linux and other Unix like operating systems which support GTK Plus 2.x. 5. Chameleon, a web browser for Windows. 6. Mozilla Prism, a web application platform for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. 7. Mozilla Thunderbird 3, an email client for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. 8. Mozilla Sunbird 1.0, a calendar application for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. 9. SeaMonkey 2, an internet suite for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. 10. Spicebird 0.7, a personal information manager for Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. Section 6. Non-Compliant Applications This section contains a table of images that show how the non-compliant applications render the ACID2 test. Image 1. Internet Explorer 6 Image 2. Internet Explorer 7 Section 3, Firefox 1.0, Mozilla 1.7.13, and Netscape 7.2. Image 4, Firefox 1.5 and 2.0. Image 5, Opera 8.0. Image 6, Opera 8.54. Image 7, Conqueror 3.4. Image 8, NetSurf 1.2 Image 9, Opera Mini 4 Image 10, iPod Touch 2.0 Even though Opera Mini is based on the same rendering engine as Opera for personal computers, it does not pass the ACID2 test. This is because Opera Mini intentionally reformats web pages to try and make them more suitable for devices with small screens. Section 7, Timeline of Passing Applications 
The following is a list of releases noting significant releases of applications that passed the test. New applications that have passed ACID 2 since their first official release are not included in the timeline. The list is represented in a table with four columns that show the date, browser, availability, and notes for each application. Date, April 27, 2005. Browser, Safari. Availability, Private Build. No notes. Date, May 18, 2005. Browser, iCab, Availability, Private Build. Notes, this build was made available to registered iCab users on May 20, 2005. Date, June 4, 2005. Browser, Conqueror, Availability, Private Build. No notes. Date, June 6, 2005. Browser, iCab, Availability, Public Build. Notes. Whether or not this version of iCab truly passes the test was questioned because it displays a scroll bar on the test page. The CSS specification states that ACID2 correctly rendered should not have a scroll bar, but also says that there may exist valid reasons in particular circumstances to ignore this requirement. Date. June 6, 2005. Browser. Safari. Availability, source code available. Notes, WebKit, the underpinnings of Safari, was made open source on June 6, 2005. When Safari was run with this latest version of WebKit, it passed the ACID2 test. Date, October 31, 2005. Browser, Safari 2.02. Availability, official release. Notes, Included in Mac OS X 10.4.3, first officially released web browser to pass test. Date, November 29, 2005. Browser, Conqueror 3.5. Availability, official release. Notes, first Linux compatible browser to pass the test, although it did not hide the scroll bar. Date, December 7, 2005. Browser, Prints 5.1. Availability, Official Release. Notes, First Non-Web Browser to Pass the Test. Date, March 10, 2006. Browser, Opera. Availability, Public Weekly Build. Notes, First Microsoft Windows Compatible Browser to Pass the Test, and also the First Linux Compatible Browser to Pass the Test, including Hiding the Scroll Bar. A public beta was released on April 20th, also successful. Date, March 28, 2006. Browser, Conqueror 3.52. Availability, official, release. Notes, updated to hide the scroll bar. Date, April 11, 2006. Browser, Mozilla Firefox. Availability, public nightly build. Notes, the Reflow refactoring nightly builds, whose code was branched from the Gecko 1.9 slash Firefox 3.0 trunk, pass ACID2. Date, May 24, 2006. Browser, Opera Mobile for Symbian OS. Availability, Private Build. Notes, First Mobile Browser to Pass Test. Date, July 20, 2006. Browser, OmniWeb 5.5 Beta 1. Availability, Public Build. Notes, OmniWeb switches its rendering engine to WebKit, the same rendering engine used in Safari, which already passed the ACID2 test. Date, June 20, 2006. Browser, Opera 9. Availability, Official Release. No notes. Date, July 4, 2006. Browser, Obigo Browser. Availability, Private Build. Notes, second mobile browser to pass test. Date, August 17, 2006. Browser, iCab 3.0.3. Availability, official release. Notes, first public release that hides the scroll bar. Date, September 6, 2006. Browser, OmniWeb 5.5. .5.
Availability, official release. No notes. Date, December 8, 2006. Browser, Mozilla Firefox, Camino, SeaMonkey. Availability, public, nightly build. Notes, Reflow refactoring branch is merged into main Gecko trunk. Firefox, Camino, and SeaMonkey trunk builds now pass ACID 2. Date, March 5, 2008. Browser, Internet Explorer 8, Beta 1. Availability, public build. Notes, Beta 1 passes the test when hosted at www.webstandards.org, but fails the test when hosted at webstandards.org or acid2.acidtests.org. Date, June 17, 2008. Browser, Mozilla Firefox 3.0. Availability, official release. No notes. Date, August 27, 2008. Browser, Internet Explorer 8, Beta 2. Availability, public build. Notes, Beta 2 and later pass the test unless it is hosted from the intranet zone. Date, March 19, 2009. Browser, Internet Explorer 8. Availability, official, release. No notes. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. This article also includes a link to the Wikimedia Commons project which has media related to ACID2. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html